Taylor series for function of functions of two variables. Taylor series expansion is f of x comma y equal to f of a comma b plus 1 by 1 factorial into h f x of a comma b plus k into f y of a comma b. And now the second term plus 1 by 2 factorial into h square f x x of a comma b plus 2 h k f x y of a comma b plus k square f y y of a comma b. The third term plus 1 by 3 factorial into h cube f x x x of a comma b plus 3 h square k f y x x x y of a comma b plus 3 h k square into f x y y of a comma b plus k cube into f y y y of a comma b plus etc. And now this is the Taylor series expansion formula for the Taylor series expansion. Actually this is like a plus b the whole square. a square plus 2ab plus b square. h represent x. So h square mean fxx. hk h represent x k represent y so that xy k square so yy and now this is like a plus b the whole cube a cube plus 3a square b plus 3a b square plus b cube so that h cube mean x x x x and h square k mean 2x 1y and h k square mean x 2y and k cube mean 3y terms so now this is the formula for the Taylor series expansion and now where h is equal to x minus a and k is equal to y minus, y minus b. And now one problem based on the Taylor series, Taylor series expansion. Now find the Taylor series expansion of e power of x sin y at the point minus 1 comma pi by 4 up to 3 degree terms. So now we want to find out Taylor series expansion for given function e power of x sin y at the point minus 1 comma pi by 4. Okay now, so now to find the Taylor series expansion, so assume that the given function is f of x comma y because the function involving two variables x and y. So let f of x comma y is equal to e power of x into sin y and here a is minus 1, b is pi by 4. And now in the Taylor series expansion we know that h is equal to x minus a. So x minus a is minus 1 so minus of minus plus 1 and k is equal to y minus b so here y minus b pi by 4 ok and now the question is Taylor series expansion up to third degree term so now I am going to find whatever we want in that formula I am going to find the from, find, and from the table ok now here form a table So here, uh, serial number f of x comma y. So f of x comma y is e power of x into sin y. And here f of a comma b, where a is minus 1, b is pi by 4. Okay. Okay, now first, the given function f of x comma y is equal to e power of x into sin y and now first I am going to find f of a comma b f of a comma b means here a is minus 1 b is pi by 4 so a in the place of x b in the place of y so for x I am going to put minus 1 for y I am going to put pi by 4 so here e power x x is minus 1 so e power minus 1 and sine y, y is pi by 4, so pi by 4. So we know that sine pi by 4 and cos pi by 4 both are equal to 1 by root 2. So the sine 45, cos 45 is 1 by root 2. And e power minus 1 is always 1 by e. So here this becomes 1 by e root 2. Because e power minus 1 is 1 by e, sine pi by 4 is 1 by e, 1 by root 2. So that f of a comma b is 1 by e root 2. So the first first one over.
Okay, and another sec second one, first derivative. So first derivative with respect to x. So f x of x comma y. So differentiating partially with respect to x. So here with respect to x, e power x differential, same e power of x. So e power of x into sin y. And now in this first derivative, another one with respect to y. So f y also I am going to find. So f y of x comma y. f y means this is a function I am going to differentiate partially with respect to y. So sin y differential cos y. So e power of x into cos y. So corresponding value in terms of a and b. So f x of a comma b. So here a is minus 1. So x in place x value e power minus 1 into b is pi by 4 sin pi by 4. So again if this is 1 by e, this is 1 by root 2, so e, e root 2. And next one f y of a comma b. So I am going to find f y of a comma b. So same a is minus 1, so e power minus 1 and cos pi by 4. So 1 by e root 2. So in the second also over. That means first derivative terms over. And the next one second derivative. So in the second derivative first I am going to find f x x. So here f x x of x comma y. So now I am going to find f x x. That means two time derivative with respect to x. So already we found one derivative. One more time with respect to x. So e power of x differential same e power of x. So e power of x into sin y. Next I am going to find f x y of x comma y. So f x y means Already we found fx, here I am going to differentiate with respect to y, that's why xy. So y differential means sin y differential cos y. So e power of x into cos y. And now I am going to find fyy. So yy of x comma y means, so already we found fy one more time with respect to y. So cos y differential minus sin y. So this is my e power of x into cos y differential minus sin y. Okay, so now I am going to put value. So here f x of a comma b, sorry f x x of a comma b is e power minus 1 into sin pi by 4. So 1 by e root 2. And here f x y of a comma b. So here e power minus 1 into cos pi by 4. So this is also 1 by e root 2. And another one f y y. So f y y of a comma b is equal to minus e power minus 1 into sin pi by 4. So this is minus 1 by e root 2. Okay, and now I am going to find third derivative. Third derivative. So here, uh, third derivative means I am going to find f x x x of x comma y so three times derivative three times with respect to x so already we found two times so one more time with respect to x so e power of x differential same e power of x into sin y and next I am going to find f x x y of x comma y so this is f x x y means already we found two time derivative with respect to x so one more time with respect to y so this is two time derivative with respect to x. So one more time with respect to y means sin y differential cos y. So e power of x into cos y. And another one f x y y of x comma y. So now this is f x y y. So already we found x y. Already we found x y. So one more time with respect to y. So y means cos y. Cos y differential minus sin y. So minus e power of x into sin y. So the another last one f y y y of x comma y through three times with respect to y. Already we found two times with respect to y. So one more time with respect to y. Sin y differential cos y. So already we have minus. So e power of x into sin y differential cos y. So the corresponding value f x x x of a comma b is equal to here e power minus 1 into sin pi by 4. So 1 by e root 2. And here f x x y of a comma b. So e power minus 1 into cos pi by 4. 
So this is also 1 by e root 2 because e power minus 1, 1 by e, cos pi by 4, 1 by root 2. And now f x y y of a comma b. So here minus e power of minus 1 into sin pi by 4. So this is minus 1 by e root 2. The last one f y y y of a comma b is equal to substitute here minus e power of minus 1 into cos pi by 4. So here minus 1 by e root 2. So I found all the values in uh, all the values for formula for the Taylor series. So now I am going to substitute these values in the formula. We get the Taylor's expansion of the given function. Okay, now I am going to substitute all the values here. So Taylor series expansion f of x comma y is equal to f of a comma b. So we know the formula. So this is the formula. So here I am going to substitute f of a comma b. So what is f of a comma b? From the table f of a comma b is 1 by e root 2. So 1 by e root 2 plus 1 by 1 factorial into h. So already we found h value. h is equal to x minus a. x minus a is x plus 1. So h is x plus 1 into f x of a comma b from the table 1 by e root 2 plus k into k is y minus pi by 4 into f y of a comma b from the table 1 by e root 2 and plus 1 by 2 factorial into h square h is x plus 1 so x plus 1 the whole square into f x x so from the table 1 by e root 2 plus 2 h k into f x y from the table f x y is 1 by e root 2 and now plus k square k square is y minus pi by 4 the whole square k square into f y y minus 1 by e root 2 and plus 1 by 3 factorial into h cube x plus 1 the whole cube into f x x x of a comma b from the table 1 by e root 2 plus 3 h square into k h square into k f x x y x x y from the table 1 by e root 2 plus 3 h k square into f x y y of a comma b f x y y of a comma b from the table minus 1 by e root 2 plus k cube y minus pi by 4 the whole cube into f y y y of a comma b from the table minus 1 by e root 2 plus etc. So this is the Taylor series expansion. Here we can simplify that means we can take 1 by e root 2 from outside so finally that is the answer of the given problem. So the simplification part simply you can take 1 by e root 2 from each table each terms. So if from here we can take 1 by e root 2 outside. Here also we can take 1 by e root 2 outside. And here also take 1 by e root 2 outside, 1 by e root 2, 1 by e root 2 from out here outside. So which is the required Taylor series expansion of the given function. For continuous support, subscribe this video. If it is www.areganish.com Purchase our textbook for the easiest method of solving problems. www.reganish.com slash textbook